Hi everyone, in today's lesson you will learn what is meant by average and how to calculate the mean and range of a data set. By the end of this lesson you should understand what average means and you should be able to calculate the mean and the range. So there are many different ways in statistics to calculate the average of a set of data. You might have heard average before either in the news or just in your day-to-day -day life. You might have heard some statements like the average number of hours people watch TV for is 3 hours per day, the average amount of exercise required is 60 minutes per day, the average amount of calories a woman should consume is 2,000 per day. However, we know that these statements don't apply to everyone so that's why we use the word average. Averages are useful because they summarise a large amount of data into a single value and they indicate that there is some variability around the single value within the original data. So like I said, it doesn't apply to everyone. So the first thing we're going to look at is calculating the mean. The mean is one way we can calculate the average of a set of data. To calculate the mean, we add together all of the data that we are given and we divide that by the number of data points that we have been given. To calculate the mean, the data does not have to be in order because we're just adding all the data together so it doesn't matter what order it's in. Okay, so let's start with an example. So calculate the mean of the following data set. Now to do this, we start by adding together the numbers. And you can do this in your head or using a calculator. <coughs> So when we add these together, we get 77. The second part in order to calculate the mean is you divide the number you have just found, the 77, by how many numbers you were given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 numbers. 77 divided by 7 gives me a mean of 11. And it is important to show all of your working. In the second set of data, we do the exact same thing to calculate the mean. We add together all of the data. Which gives me 84. And to calculate the mean, I divide 84 by the number of numbers. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 84 divided by 6 gives me 14. So the mean of the second set of data is 14. That is all there is to calculate in mean. Next we'll go on to calculate the range. Now the, the range is a measure of the spread of the data. So the higher the range, the more widespread the data is. The lower the range, the closer together all of the different numbers are that you have been given. We calculate the range by doing the highest number, take away the lowest number. Now the data does have to be in order to calculate the range. If it's not, you might miss the lowest number or the highest number, so the best thing to do is just put it in order. So come back to our previous sets, we are now going to calculate the range. This one is already in order for us, so all we need to do here is take the highest number, which is 21, and subtract the lowest number, which is 5. So our range is 16. To calculate the range of set B, again, it's in order for us. So we just want to do the highest number, which is 16. Take away the lowest number, which is 11, which gives me a range of 5. Okay, in C, it says make a comparison of the following data sets, commenting on the mean and range. Okay. So let me first jot down what we got because we've already calculated the mean and range of these. The mean is 11, the range is 16. For the second one, the mean was 14 and the range was 5. So remember, the mean is a measure of average and the range is a measure of the spread of data. Okay, so... We can see in the first one, the mean is lower than the second one, which means on average, set B is higher than set A. So that is just my first statement. On average, set B is higher than set A since 14 is greater than 11, okay? For the range now, we can see set A has a much larger range than set B, and that's because the spread of numbers is much greater. The numbers are as low as 5 and as high as 21, whereas in set B, all of the numbers are pretty close together, with the minimum being 11 and the maximum being 16. So we can say that set A has much more variation in it. The numbers are much more varied, they're much more spread apart, and that's all you need to say. 
The data in set B is less varied than set A since 5 is less than 16. OK, example 2. Ten branches of Mason stores place bubblegum machines outside each shop. They find that they contain the following number of bubblegums. Work out the range. So, remember I said we do need to have the numbers in order to work out the range. So, I'm going to start by ordering these numbers. I'm going to score them out as I go along. So, I've got two 50s here. Then I've got a 51. 52 from 52. 53, 354s, and a 55. And a good way to check is just count that you've got the same numbers that they've got. So they've got 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers, good. Right, part A says work out the range. So remember the formula for range is highest take away lowest. Our highest number is 55, our lowest is 50, which means this data has a range of 5. Part B says work out the mean. So in order to do this, I'm going to use my calculator to add all of these numbers together. So when I add them all together, like so, just adding them all up, I should get 525. To calculate the mean, I must take the number 525 that I've just found from adding everything together and divide by the number of numbers that are 10, which gives me a mean of 52.5. Now, part C says the bubblegum company claim that each of their machines should contain an average of 53 bubblegums. Should Masons complain to this company? Explain. Now, although it's not exactly what they said would be in every machine, they did claim that on average, and remember, average does have some variation around it. It doesn't need to be exactly. It's only 0 0.5 less than what they claim, so that's not enough to complain. It's only half a sweet less than what they claim, so it is pretty close. So the answer that we're going to go for here is no. On average, each machine contains only 0 0.5 less than the stated average. This amount is too small to complain.